so what is up guys this is Rohit so in this tutorial I am going to looking at the quotations abbreviations address and citation elements so now let's talk about the quotations we have two type of quotations short quotations and long quotations for short quotations we use Q tag that is Q tag and for the long quotations we use block quote so let's look at an example so now take a look at short quotations now I'm going to write a quotation here honesty is the best policy it's a nice one so let's run this in the browser save it and run this in the browser now you can observe here uh, quotations appeared on the screen so that is about short quotations now take a look at in the long quotations so it is represented by block quote now I am writing here something interesting quotation love is not something you find love is something that finds you yeah nice, nice quotation so now save it and run this in the chrome and see the chain uh, differences between short quotations and long quotations so for long quotations uh, the browser has some spaces here space here so it gives space and for the short quotation it just put the quotation marks here so that is the difference between short quotation and long quotations so now let's look at another example another tag that is uh, ABBR tag uh, the uh, ABBR abbreviation that defines uh, an abbreviation or an acronym suppose suppose if you have paragraphs with a uh, lot of abbreviations so this is going to be useful for you guys so let me write a paragraph so here I want the abbreviation of RKB so uh, let's see this in the browser first so RKB if I place the cursor here it is showing nothing so now I am going to use this ABBR tag so now I used ABBR tag here so save this and run this in the Chrome so happened nothing now I am going to use the title for this so here I'm going to use the attribute called title attribute that is ti title equals quotations so in the quotations I am writing the full form of RKB so that is Rohit Kumar Buddhavatina so let's save this and now see the bro took in the browser so when I place when I place the cursor so it is showing um, Rohit Kumar Buddha Bhatna, full form of RKB so that is about abbreviation tag so now take a look at another tag that is address tag uh, it is represented by address any direct address So now I am writing my address here that is Rohit Bunda Matina. Nellur. So this is my address. 
suppose if you have any addresses in your website so then a, this tag gonna be useful guys so that is about address tag so and uh, I have at another, at another tag that is a site tag uh, uh, now first take a look at this in browser so this so this is the address guys so see you can see the font changes here and some metallic text so that is about address tag now take a look at site tag site tag which defines the title of work suppose I have a paragraph that is oh, ignited minds by Abdul Kalam is my best book now I have my paragraph here uh, I haven't used the site tag here so save this and see so it is ignited uh, it displays as it is so see the change changes when I use the site tag here Now see the changes. So ignited minds. So the font changes here. That means the ignited minds represents the title of work here. So that is why I used site tag here. These are not useful in the real life in your in HTML, but for knowledge, just learn all these things. So, and uh, another interesting tag that is BDO tag, uh, it is used to override the text direction. So, take a look at example. Suppose I am writing here, write to save this, save this. So, it displays displayed as it is now I am going to use attribute that is dir attribute uh, rtl that is right to left now the text is going to be going to display from right to left see the changes now our text is displayed right to left so that is about bdo tag or write the text direction so if you want source code of this series so kindly check out the link in the description below so that's pretty much it from this tutorial guys uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial so please subscribe my channel uh, I see you guys in the next video